another free turn. So, there we go. Another day, another tent. And this time it comes with sword and instructions. Whatever, let's put it up. So, there we go. Now, let's do it again like TikTokers do it. Bam. Come on. Boom. Uh, well, it was analog tense again. Yeah, whatever. Let's see. Well, we do get a good amount of tent stakes. Quality ones. Not bad. And the usual canvas bag. Okay, let me look through this and cut you in later. This certainly is a big tent. Whew. Well, let's look into the instructions and figure it out. So, now I know how it's done. Okay, first of all, let's practice. First part is thin. Can you tell I'm ready? This is not the kind of tent you put up for a day trip. I think it is a little attachment thing here. You just try it through. So, now let's get it erected. I tell you, the instructions are totally <coughs> stupid. <laughs> this is the way you're supposed to keep this side off, just by putting it across. Quite a strange construction and what totally threw me off was they give you one extra tent stake with no purpose <laughs> yeah but it is roomy inside it's the divider one out of this it looks like a standard tent with a tail on it yeah, I mean, it certainly gives you a lot of space. 
but the instructions are a mess. Kind of like this. Stand up. Sit. So those little loops now they hook into your stakes like this. And this all the way around. So and there we are, finally finished. It's a lot of noise here today. The camera's microphone is really boosting it, I know. Yeah, and it's not perfectly set up. Yeah, this is quite an old tent. I'm guessing 1980s, early 90s. Back then they used to be a bit more complicated. I had to, bit, to do a bit improvising around here. That's what the last tent pot is for. But it was damaged, so I have to fix it. The proper way not with tape but yeah this is the main entrance for the tent normally you stake those a bit more outside so they don't have the v-shape but go outside so you can go in more conveniently but i didn't bother <laughs> yeah it is not a bad tent once it's set up and there we got the manufacturer This looks like 1980s. So, there we go. Now let's jump in. And I brought my little stove here. It's in a different video, and the hatchet, my straw hat. And now let's jump in here. Yeah, I definitely got space. <laughs> uh, this divider ball velcros on place here, but we can also roll it up and tie it up. So, some positive notes here. This is a very, very big tent, I mean, <laughs> very big. And they gave you a, a thing to tie up your lens pocket here. Yeah, this is really feeling like camping back in. So yeah, at first with the setup I was a bit annoyed, but now I really started to like it. So let's see if it at least automatically puts itself together, right? Just like this. So, <laughs> that's it. It's a self-packing tent. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to take this on a longer trip. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time here at your Adventures Club. Like, subscribe, join the club, it's all free. Yeah, see you next time. And since I wasn't happy with the instructions, I have decided to make my own. And here they are, at the end of this video, just for those who stuck around long enough, or for those who ask me about how to put this particular tent up. Yeah, the large part got the two long beams parallel across it, so they form an X shape. And the small one just goes through the bottom end. 